Okay, let's meditate. Close my eyes. Inhale and exhale. Okay. Where am I? What what is this? What's that? Yeah. So you may be wondering why? Why do I want to meditate for one week, one hour a day? And to be honest, I just felt that I was not being myself lately, that I was missing something. And I've seen a few videos and I'm reading a book from Jay Shetty that meditating changed his life. So I wanted to give it a try. I wanted to see whether meditating could help me bring myself, my mind into a new mental state, into be better, concentrate and do all the things, enjoy life, do all the things that I used to do the same way I used to do it. So that's why for one week I'll be meditating. I know it's not gonna be easy because I'm someone that likes to be moving a lot, likes to be doing a lot of things and I hope you actually enjoy this slow type of video that I made. I hope you enjoy the sequence that I just did. A little bit more cinematic, I hope. Hope you enjoyed it. Lavender has relaxing properties and an incense is always good for meditation. Wow, wow, wow. I have to say that felt really long. Especially the first, I think, five minutes I was trying to get into the mood was a little bit difficult but then I really got into the mood uh, and there were three highlights in my opinion from, from this meditation session there was a moment where I couldn't I felt that I was not in my body for some reason that I was somewhere else in the mountain I was having really vivid images of me in the mountain, surrounded by trees, looking at the sky. Uh, I had some soundscape on, on the meditation and it was um, rain and there was rain or like a river flowing and the sky was blue and that was really, really vivid images and that holded I think for 10 minutes um, where I was just, my, my head was lightheaded, uh, I was just not there anymore, like physically I was not there, but physically I was there, mentally I was not there. There was another moment where I started feeling, and that was before, the, the images started feeling tingling in my hands and my hands getting cold, there still are a little bit cold, uh, and that was the beginning of that whole experience, also having to accommodate myself, putting my feet in the ground to feel grounded, because I was really feeling like out of myself and it was a little bit too much as well. Towards the end, I think the third one was towards the end when there was no more guided meditation and I felt lost for a little bit. I had to open my eyes, see how much time I had left and it was like still half an hour left. And that was a little bit too much. And also, towards the end, my dog lied on my feet and I really got scared. You scared me! You loco! You scared me! Like, quite a lot. He really scared me. Um, overall, was interesting, nice. I now feel better. I was feeling really anxious at the beginning, starting. Now I'm feeling way more grounded, way more myself, way more here and I'm really appreciating it and I'm looking forward to tomorrow's hour of meditation again. So I just finished day two and it was interesting. I wanted to try unguided meditation just because yesterday I tried guided and I actually find it particularly strange to do it myself, by myself, no guiding. So the first 45 minutes really felt like it was 10 minutes. It was incredibly fast. And then 
I actually checked like the time because I, I couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into the mood. It was really strange feeling. Uh, my mind was going everywhere. Uh, I'm really someone that needs to be doing something and I'm constantly thinking about stuff. And I really felt like my mind was not there. So I checked the time how much I had left because I thought uh, maybe it's just the first 10 minutes. And it's at 45 minutes, so I have 15 minutes left of the guided med of the meditation sounds. Then, after the f the next 10 minutes, after the first 45, went incredibly slow, incredibly slow. I had also the the visualizations that I had yesterday. I really cannot phrase these visualizations. I cannot put a I cannot explain how they feel. It feels like I had soothing sounds, really soothing sounds um, in nature and it really was like I was there. I was seeing an eagle walking in front of me. I was seeing the river flow. I was seeing the rocks. I had to look back at the footage now because I feel like my head was tilted and like I was not physically in control of my body for some reason and that was extremely weird and I had that on within that, those 10 minutes the 10 minutes after the first 45 minutes and the last 5 minutes were eternal it felt even longer than the previous 5 minutes I think I was just done with it um, but it feels good I have to say it feels interesting um, Opening up my eyes, it really feels interesting to see everything and when you're super relaxed and into the mood, it's gonna be a bummer that you're inside of your apartment and you're not actually there where you were picturing yourself two minutes ago. So that's interesting and I feel a sense of relief and soothness in myself and feeling calm. I feel calm. And I hope that's something that lasts towards the day because actually yesterday uh, it didn't last the whole day. Yeah. I think after two or three hours I started feeling tense again. Uh, hopefully today it's not the case. And I also felt extremely hungry for some reason. I had breakfast like half an hour, one hour before starting and I'm extremely hungry again. It's not even lunch time yet, still have like one hour. So yeah. Let's see what tomorrow awaits, I cannot... For some reason I don't see myself continuing doing it for seven days in a row, day two. Um, but yeah, let's take it step by step. Just finished day three and a half. I say three and a half because I have to be honest with you, yesterday I skipped it um, just because I couldn't find the time to do it and when I had the time it was like 10 p.m. and I know myself and I was gonna fall asleep so yeah, three, third day and a half I would say. It was a little bit different, a different setting as you can see, my bed. I was scared of doing it lying down, so I sat down against the wall. Not the most comfortable. Uh, my back hurt at the end, but I did my best. First half an hour went really fast. Then the next 20 minutes after that went extremely fast. Um, and then the last two minutes were extremely slow. I had again visualizations, which I'm starting to find really interesting and I think I need to find out whether that's just me and what the reason behind it is. I find it interesting, um, these visualizations come all of a sudden, usually on the second time, so I'd like the first half an hour went really slow, I'm getting my mind go and it's going everywhere, going everywhere. Uh, I got a cool idea for the intro for this video, so maybe you see it, uh, we'll find out later. And then the last, after that, the first half an hour, after the first half an hour, I started to have visualizations. I'm, I'm starting to get curious what these visualizations mean, um, whether that's just me or, or 
if it happens in general it just gets like all gets white and then I start like seeing shadows and then these shadows transform into actual things so it's really really interesting uh, yeah I'm gonna do my research now and we'll see we'll see tomorrow whether I still have these visualizations or not so far liking it a lot I'm curious if uh, I'm gonna continue doing it afterwards after the seven days but yeah probably not for for one hour I find that too much maybe half an hour every day but we'll see see you tomorrow Today's meditation was quite short. I fell asleep. So, yeah. No meditation. Much. I think I just needed it. Was tired. So, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Today... I couldn't concentrate much But... There was a before and after, I felt like At the beginning I was not concentrated and my mind was everywhere And now I feel relaxed, I feel good So, it was a good session Two more days to go and... We'll see if I continue Right, so I just finished the six. I'm starting to like it. I don't know if I'm gonna continue doing it one hour for a long period of time, maybe one month. But yeah, I feel like it's too long. But even though sometimes sitting uh, behind the laptop and watching YouTube or even Netflix for three hours doesn't feel too long for some reason and I find that interesting that when we talk about mental health or things that are actually beneficial for us we struggle to do it because reading for what half an hour or meditating for half an hour it's more difficult than actually watching Netflix for half an hour and I find that interesting but Overall, I don't know if I'm gonna continue with it uh, and I'm at a point right now where every time I fell asleep or actually every time I feel like I'm falling asleep I don't know whether I fall asleep or if it's like a trance situation where I'm just... I don't know, out of this world, super relaxed, meditating or my ment my my mind is just not there, that's how it feels like. So yeah, tomorrow last day, will I continue? We'll see tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that was day six, see you tomorrow. All right, so finished the last day, well, just finished day seven. Um, it was a different meditation this time. It was one that makes you first meditate with your eyes closed, get a sense of your body and then meditate with uh, your eyes open. I didn't like it. It was not for me. I just got distracted and then time went super slow. I also got extremely sleepy and I felt like I was not really relaxed. Now the big question, what did I gain from these seven days? I think I learned to slow down a little bit more than I used to. I learned to understand how I feel, understand my body, understand my mind a little bit more. And, and I learned to relax because my mind is constantly busy and sometimes I feel like I could just slow down a little bit more and this helped me do so. Especially when my mind was feeling busy in certain moments, this helped me to continue and keep on the daily tasks, let's say. 
Now the big question is, will I continue doing this for indefinitely? To be honest, I don't know. I think I'm gonna continue meditating every day, that's for sure. If not every day, every second day. But meditating for one hour, I find that a little bit too much. Perhaps half an hour, I think that's the sweet spot for me. Maybe 45 minutes, but yeah, between half an hour and 45 minutes, that's where I found myself to be the most relaxed and to be the most in harmony with my body and my mind. So yeah, I'll continue doing it, but shorter time. I hope you actually enjoyed this sort of short video. I'm uh, trying to find myself a little bit more at the moment, and this helped a lot, to be honest. This helped a lot to find myself more, to get a little bit more mental clarity, so I will continue doing these mental clarity exercises as I experience life. Hope you enjoyed it, and please, if you did, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.